Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome back. Um, I want to turn to the book of 2 Timothy today, 2 Timothy chapter 2. We are going to read verse 22. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Now here we can see that the Lord is making a clear distinction once again. He is letting us know that the works of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit cannot simultaneously exist in one person. There is only one that takes um, dominance. But that choice belongs to us. The choice to flee from immorality. The choice to flee from adultery. The choice to flee from fornication. Being careful of what we watch. Being careful of what we listen to. Being careful of the conversations we have and the nature of conversations. The content of our conversations. Whether by text or by um, phone or by face to face we are careful and we're fleeing from that he makes that clear because come back to galatians chapter 5 it says walk in the spirit in verse 16 walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish the things that we wish to do the things that our kind of like basic instinct unless the holy spirit is the one who is in dominance it can get us to a dangerous place it can we saw that in the life of david that momentary lapse in judgment that momentary lapse in judgment had consequences that lasted throughout the rest of his life at that point and so we have the responsibility to choose and to flee from immorality that's what the bible tells us and it tells us here that we should walk according to the Spirit. Walk according to the Spirit. Walk according to what the Holy Spirit says. Listen to what the Holy Spirit's advice and his counsel is. And if you would come with me to the book of um, Psalms. And Psalms chapter 119, we are going to read today verse 9. The Bible says here, 9 onwards, how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me astray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. What a beautiful passage. The only thing that can bring us out of the works of the flesh and take us away from idolatry, take us away from witchcraft, take us away from lasciviousness, um, minimize envy and take out rage and take out hatred and all these things, revelings, is the word of God. And it brings us great joy as one would rejoice in great riches is like following the, the statutes of God. There is joy to be found in the word of God. There's joy to be found in the spirit, more than that which the world attempts to offer us or tries to show us. There is more joy in here, and you can see that in Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, the Bible tells us in um, verse 19, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermins destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. If you jump down to verse 24, no one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. I think it's important for us to remember here that there is a, there's a clear difference and there is a distinction between following God and following the wor world. The world has temporary things. The moths and the vermin destroy. Situations and circumstances destroy this temporary treasure that we may have found or hope to have found permanent confidence in. But if you store up, if you hide the word of God in your heart, like in Psalms 119 said, if you store that up within you, then that treasure is something that cannot be destroyed. That treasure is something that is eternal. And the result of that treasure, if you come to the book of Philippians chapter 4, 
it tells us here in Philippians chapter 4. Finally, brothers and sisters, in verse 8, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the peace of God will be with you. There is peace and joy to be found in following God. And that really is what we need to invest our time in in the word of god in following it not just listening but put it into practice put it into action be doers of the word and become imitators of christ and the joy and the peace of god will just swell up inside of you you will rejoice in the word as one rejoices in riches and the peace of god will always be with you god bless you